Every year faces come and go at Susquehanna University. Some students year to study accounting, while others plan on joining an extracurricular activity. For Seattle, Washington native Spencer Spencer, it was about leaving a legacy on the hardwood for the Susquehanna University men's basketball team. On August 23, 2008, Spencer stepped foot on Susquehanna University's campus for the beginning of his freshman year of college. It was the start of what would be an exceptional career. Spencer, with home being nearly 3,000 miles away, how in the world did you wind up on the East Coast playing collegiate basketball in Central Pennsylvania? Well, actually, uh, after I went to high school in Seattle, but after those three years, I took a PG or post-grad year okay. at, at the Miss Chapey School in Connecticut. And there, I actually got I met an alumni of Susquehanna, his okay. name is Alan Bennett, okay. and uh, I actually was playing like, a pickup basketball game. He was like over 50 years old, but uh, he, uh, he was asking like about my college situation. I hadn't yeah. really decided yet, okay. and uh, he said that I should look at his alma mater, and uh, he got me to Coach Frank, yeah. and uh, from there, you know, we talked. And, then. Did you have any opportunities to play on the West Coast? I mean, what was it about the East Coast that appealed to you? Um, I was actually, I was looking at a couple schools on the West Coast, but um, I don't know, I just, I couldn't really decide that they were, like I was looking at a school from Whitman, okay. in Washington, another school in California, but um, I wasn't really deciding, like, I really liked Alan Bennett, I met him, he seemed like a really good guy, yeah. so I, you know, I just trusted his opinion, I liked everything that I saw in my game, so okay. As a freshman, Spencer burst onto the scene, playing in all 26 games for the Crusaders. He averaged 13.6 points per game, which earned him the 2008-2009 Landmark Conference Rookie of the Year Award. Unfortunately for the Crusaders, their season came to an abrupt end as they lost by five in overtime in the Landmark Conference Championship to rival Scranton. All right, in your mind, was this the best team you've been a part of throughout your four years at SU? The best team? It's hard to say that uh, that was the best team. We definitely were the most successful team that I've yeah. been on, but um, we did have we had a lot of good players on that team, like Joel Patch, yeah. Rob. Uh, I mean, there's each team that I've been on was pretty good, like in its own way, but definitely the most successful. It's hard to say the best. What were your expectations as a freshman coming in? I actually, expectations. I didn't have any. You know, Seelands Grove was such a new town for me. I didn't really know what to expect coming yeah. in. Uh, I actually started out the season on JV, so I didn't even know if I was going to be playing, so it okay. ended up being a pleasant surprise. What was your ultimate goal as a collegiate athlete? Sad to say, my ultimate goal as a collegiate athlete was probably to make the NCAA tournament, okay. and uh, we got close a couple times, but unfortunately we never ended up reaching that. Coach, let's rewind back to the 08-09 season. What was it about Spencer's game that enabled him to be such a sensation around town? Well, it, that team um, was kind of a veteran team and had uh, all the right pieces except we didn't have a great shooter. And the way we ran offense, we needed somebody uh, that could take advantage of dribble penetration by Brian Majors and dribble penetration by Matt McDevitt. And uh, through our uh, preseason, it was pretty obvious to me that Spencer Spencer was going to be a great shooter. Uh, we went with an upperclassman to start uh, the season and probably about uh, 12 or 13 minutes into our first game, uh, we weren't making quite enough shots. And uh, at that time, we decided to go with Spencer. And I believe in his first game, he came off the bench and got 23. Uh, part of it was right time and right place, which I think uh, determines a lot of the success that the players have when they go to college. Um, you know, who you're playing with, what the team needs. And Spencer, was, he was absolutely the right guy at the right time. So do you think his success generated any jealousy from returning teammates who were eyeing to fill that void in the starting lineup? Well, I, I think initially when you build a team, uh, you have some competition, and when you have competition, sometimes you do have some conflicts. Sure. Uh, but I think if you're coaching good coachable players that uh, can put their egos aside and put the team first, those things typically work themselves out. Uh, I'm sure there was an upperclassman or two that thought that that position was theirs. Uh, but as I mentioned, we gave, we gave a lot of opportunities to people uh, through some scrimmages and uh, uh, early in the season through a game or two. And, and those players didn't stop playing. I mean, they still had opportunities. Uh, but Spencer you know, fairly won the job yeah. and was the right guy for our team. And uh, uh, you know, he was the first team all-conference player as a freshman mm -hmm. um, and uh, was a vital part of that team's success. All right, you could go back in time and change one thing, whether it was something minor like a missed shot or major like a game, what would you decide to do? Well, my freshman year, I remember there was one play. Uh, we were in the championship game. 
uh, at Scranton, and uh, we kind of had we kind of collapsed on defense and let like one of the best three point shooters in the country get an open shot that ended up being the game winning shot. So if we could have done something to somehow prevent that from yeah. happening, we would have ended up winning the game and making the NCAA tournament. So if I could change one thing, it's probably what it would be. Spencer capped off his stellar career with a historic senior season. He started 23 of 24 games and led the Crusaders in scoring at 19.3 points per game and total points with 462. He leaves as the third all-time leading scorer with 1,542 career points. But now, like every other senior awaiting graduation, the finance major and Spanish minor will soon close one chapter to his life while opening another. What's next for Spencer Spencer? Um, well, actually, uh, I'll be coming back to Susamana. Or not to Susamana, I'm going abroad. We're going to spend the semester in Barcelona in the fall. Okay. And then uh, I'll come back after that and finish up yeah. uh, my degree and, you know, see from there. So you speak Spanish? See. Si. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right, so every athlete's career comes to an end, whether they like it or not. Does the thought of throwing in the towel frequently cross your mind? Um, yeah, it kind of it does, and it kind of freaks me out. I mean, I've played basketball since I can remember, so, uh, yeah. You know, I never want it to be over. Uh, you know, I've talked with a couple people about maybe playing, uh, continue to play competitively after this, but uh, I don't know, it's, it's hard to put it away. It's such a fun game, but uh, that's fine. Hopefully, hopefully there's a way that I don't have to. What would be your options if you could play? Would it be down in the Dominican or would it be overseas uh, in Europe? Um, I haven't gotten that far in the I don't even know if it is an option, but, you know, I'm, you know regardless, I'll probably end up playing some events directly and yeah. stuff like that, you know. I'm never going to say goodbye until I can't play. So in one word, describe your time at Susquehanna University playing basketball. It's just fun. I don't know. Like I, I love playing basketball, and I've had some like really uh, great teammates. So just like you know, playing basketball, like hanging out with them like off the court, it's just been it's been a really fun experience. What was your most memorable moment of coaching Spencer? Oh, I've had a lot of great moments. Um, we've butted heads sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I've had a, you know, one great moment, but uh, uh, one of the things about Spencer is, you know, you, you've alluded to, Spencer became a crowd favorite. And when we were playing at home, uh, you know, he had a way of really exciting the crowd. And, uh, and I guess I kind of liked when, he, when he'd kind of go off and hit a couple threes back to back and uh, not only get the crowd into it, but obviously get the rest of our team into it. And so he found a way to kind of stoke the fires. Um, with his uh, with his ability to make shots and and he had a, he had he had a flamboyant air air to him uh, that uh, I was fine with as long as it was uh, uh, being done in the right way and as long as it was done being done with the best interest of the team in, in, in mind. All right, so come late October this year, how big of an adjustment will it be for the team and for you personally to no longer see number twenty four suit up in orange in the room? I think it'll be a huge adjustment. Um, while we return a lot of very good players. Spencer was the one guy that could make a lot of plays on his own, and uh, he's, you know, he's the most proficient three-point shooter in school history. Um, you know, he could take you and put you on his back for a little bit, and uh, you can make some runs just by him making individual plays. Um, so he will be very, very hard to replace. And you know, again, um, he's the best scorer I've ever coached. Um, so I don't expect that any one person is going to step in and take his place. He, he will be hard to hard to. Uh, replace and uh, uh, I'll really miss him. You know, like as I said, we, we've we've had our moments, but I really, really like the young man and uh, um, love what he's done for our basketball program. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Fast forward three years later, Spencer garnered two All Conference Player Awards, gaining the reputation as one of the most dangerous scoring threats in the league. But entering a senior season, one plaque was still missing from his trophy case a landmark conference championship. After posting a 15 and 10 record, the number two Crusaders were streaking at the right time behind Spencer, the league's third leading scorer. However, the men's basketball team saw its season come to an end with a rare home loss. SU fell 77 to 58 to Juniata College in the semifinal round of the landmark conference tournament. The Crusaders suffered its first home loss since early December. You guys were playing such efficient basketball. You were executing on both sides of the floor. What happened in this game? You guys were so successful at home. At this point, it's still tough to say. We were we were really successful at home, you know, during all the years that I've been here. But um, you know, we just played them the game before. It was kind of just a, it's weird playing a team back to back like that. But um, you know, I can't 
you know, everyone played as hard as they could. You know, they were just better than us that day. You were Spencer Spencer's teammate for four years. How was he as a teammate? Uh, you know, he was a pretty good teammate. I mean, it's a little different. Um, we had the very different roles. He played mm -hmm. a lot more than me, obviously. Oh, yeah. You know, scoring records and everything. But um, you know, he, he came. He came to work pretty much every day. Yeah. You know, being as you know as good of a player as he was, and you know, I started like that. He, uh, you know, occasionally banged heads with uh, the coach a little bit, but um, yeah. you know, we always got through. And uh, we become pretty good friends over the years. And uh, you know, he, like I said, he always came to work, and uh, he was great to play with. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, just good overall teammate. Very good. In your mind, what type of legacy does he leave for this program? Uh, well, uh, like we were talking about earlier, he uh, he's third all-time scoring, which uh, you know it's an impressive feat. And I know uh, amongst the conference, he uh, definitely left an impact. Oh yeah. Because you know being uh, rookie of the year, freshman year, um, just coming in, got to play with uh, guys that like yeah. Joel Patch. Yep. Um, it was a lot of fun. But um, I think he definitely has an impact. You know, people can come and see. You know, that somebody so recently played so well in this conference and you know had so much success. Um, I think it definitely helps out the program and you know, also with like recruiting and stuff. You know, he's a good guy. Of course. And uh, I mean, without him we would not have done as well as we had in the past couple of years. So now you witnessed Spencer Spencer play basketball for four years. What are your thoughts of him as an athlete and as a student? Well first Spencer you could tell in his freshman year he had tremendous talent mm -hmm. and he had a super year freshman of the year. And what really strikes me on the court is his development of his total game right. over his four years. And how this year, it wasn't just about shooting the ball and scoring points. Right. He was a leader on the floor. He took care of the ball. And he played well defensively. Um, and as a student, Spencer is, has become, yep. you know, he epitomizes what we want in a Division three student athlete. He's serious in the classroom and has really gotten the job done um, and has done well overall in terms of his experience at SU. Many sports films such as Hoosiers, Rudy and Miracle have happy endings, but sports careers often have more tragic conclusions. Just take a look at the careers of Carl Malone, Ted Williams, and Dan Marino. However, Michael Jordan once said, I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Spencer might not have achieved the ultimate goal he set out for when he arrived to Sealands Grove back on August 23, 2008. But the effort he expended into his own game and the team has put an institution of just over 2,000 students on the map when it comes to basketball. The future holds bright things for those they call Casanova. A special thanks to Spencer Spencer, head coach Frank Marcinic, Matt Modric, athletic director Pam Samuelson, Dr. Stark, Dr. Hastings, and Sean Thistle. From the Garrett Sports Complex, I'm Andy Pogar, Susquehanna News.